So right now I'm working on a script. This is episode two of a TV show I'm working on called uh, That's a Warp. It's like a little goofy uh, comedy about four uh, college kids that time travel from 1980 into the present time, 2017. Um, usually what I do is like I'll get the script, read it a couple times, just kind of see like what the mood is. So what I like to do usually is just like kind of go through there and think like where would music like fit, where would music not fit. And action is the gang dresses dramatically. It's clear that their only option was to dress in Eugene's clothes in slow mo with sick synth music. So like that's triggering me. Like okay, I gotta see what I can do. The very very difficult thing to do when you are making music for for dialogue and film is that you don't want to make it where like people are focusing on the music. Like, it's kind of like, you know, people say like the editor's job is to go unnoticed. It's kind of like that too with, with music. Is it like, you definitely want to be noticed, but you don't want to be distracting so that it takes away from the dialogue because that's obviously more important. So I'm applying to a few film scoring programs for grad school uh, because I'll be graduating in the spring and I need to have things that I've written for film, but I need to clean them up a little bit and make them um, more presentable, I guess, and more competitive and more representative of the kind of music that I um, want to be known for writing. This movie is a five minute movie. It's about a motorcycle rider who was pretty successful in his past and but is now blind. It opens with kind of a reflection of him. You're trying to remember the sensation of racing and riding. I really love storytelling and I think that like films is such a unique way of telling a story that like can be applicable to so many people and everyone can find something in it that they really enjoy or really connect to. There's infinite possibilities and I think that because I was already interested in music and uh, had that interest in film, I think like film music is the perfect marriage of the two. Now I just have to become good at it. Will you like play a little bit something? <laughs> recording a little bit of a soundtrack for uh, an advanced narrative short film here, uh, Remember. <laughs> All right, I think I got Do it wanna... now. That was just a rehearsing. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was actually um, already a song that I had made, and uh, Maria Forsyth, the writer and the director of photography, she explained the idea of the story, and we read the scripts in class, and then I came up to her and I told her that I had a song that kind of reminded me of the story she was trying to tell. Brilliant. You want to go for a take? Yeah. So you like the intro and then like, yeah. strum, 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 and then like find it resolve. Yeah. Because it's, it's supposed to be about like 20 to 30 seconds-ish? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that music is the language that the the characters are speaking. Not necessarily that it's what the filmmaker is trying to make you feel, but it's what you inherently feel and connect with. All the good things they call. Film without music would just be so, and I just feel like life. It's like kind of boring, and <laughs> I don't know. So I think music is it's the soul of the film. And I just want to know how many times you heard that before. And I just want to know have you ever been catcalled before? I do this for me. This isn't a 